Mm. We had a snow day today. And a- apparently in New York now, a snow day is no longer just a the day where your kids get to stay home and watch cartoons. They have to do virtual learning now because that's yeah. a thing that we now know how to do after COVID. So my a- son woke up all excited about a snow day and then had to log on and see his teacher's face anyway. And he's very upset. <laughs> I'm a little jealous. Oh, we no. were supposed anyway. to get that snow, but then it like moved a little south of us. It went from, it was actually yeah, wild like watching here. the weather report. It went from like, it's like watching football and hearing the pre snap <laughs> countdown or whatever. It was like 12, 9, 18, 14, 0. <laughs> it's terrible. Yeah, we were supposed to get from five to eight, and I think we just barely got five, like uh-huh. cumulatively, but it warmed up a little bit during the day and a lot of it melted anyway. So by tomorrow, it'll be business as usual. After experiencing minus 20C, in Canada, like I don't want to see snow again. Oh my God, I, that's the one thing I, I moved to Canada when I married my son's father. And I immediately was like, why did I move somewhere where the air hurts my face this much? Yeah. I don't deserve this. It took me like two uh, days to fly home because they were like, too much snow, planes on ground, <laughs> tough shit. You, you know what you do deserve? Your balls. Oh, thank you. Uh, you're, you're welcome. Right. Sure Can I have a new one? Uh, yeah, yeah. Give me one sec. We've got a garden. I'll just, I'll just move it all around. Yeah, right. Cool. <laughs> Thank you. Right, uh, hello everybody, uh, welcome to this YouTube exclusive uh, video of Blood on the Clock Tower. Uh, we're here celebrating uh, Abase's two year clock tower anniversary. Uh, so uh, I've decided to just uh, record the videos and just stick them on YouTube instead of streaming. Uh, this is the third game of the night. Uh, however, this is only going to be the second one that's on YouTube because uh, we had a lot of technical issues on the uh, first game, uh, which meant that i um, unable to put it up, upload it. So it was a good game, which uh, we won uh, with a good team. Uh, so we're doing a another game of Sex and Violets uh, now, which is actually good because we've got more plays than we had last time. So, uh, but we are the sweetheart, and uh, this is a Fangu script. So, oh no. If this is a Fangu game. Ooh, random question to get us through the night since we were talking about music and film. If there was a film about your life, what would be the opening song that plays through the credits? The Godzilla theme. Nice. No follow up questions, please. Circle of Life. Oh, There's already lovely the torn. That's such a good choice. Huh? Yep, the opening. Say you're walking down the street at the beginning of the movie. I don't recall. Music playing uh, behind you. Uh, I, I don't recall what the opening song is in Dumb and Dumber, but I imagine it's that opening song from Dumb and Dumber. Yeah, because <laughs> it may just be an part. instrumental, and that's okay. That. Yeah, because of my past, it would be staying alive, the opening bit from uh, uh, Saturday Night Fever. I'm a cancer survivor. Uh, mine so... would be... Ah, uh, fair enough. Mine would be Killer Queen by Queen. It's one of my favorite songs. <clears throat> That's a very good choice. I also like asking wrestling fans what their theme would be coming to the ring because I find oh, that that tells yep, a lot about yep. people kind of theme they would have for themselves. Still Godzilla theme. I <laughs> uh, made in the trooper. <laughs> hmm. I personally actually have like played on a funny instrument like... would be even funnier. Like Godzilla theme on the kazoo would be great. <laughs> or the Vuvuzela would just go so hard. Yeah. 
Yeah, I I'd come out to like the the Jurassic Park meme song. <laughs> yeah, yeah, on a kazoo. For the longest yeah. time, for the longest time, it's either been between the Trooper or Wicker Man by Iron Maiden, but also I've now added um, Savages by Ice Nine Kills to it as a possible. Mm. Yeah, for me personally, it's Sonna by Ramstein. Mm. Mm. With Ooh. the countdown in. Yeah. Because uh, that's a perfect place for pyros right after the countdown. Mm. Mm. Um, I'd, I'd, have to think about I'd probably go for you, Bell, because it's just a fun drinking song. I think I'd be tempted to steal Triple H's King of Kings. That's a good one. Behold, the King of Kings. Hello, I am the King of Kings. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yes, unfortunately, I'm dead. So, uh, hey, I guess the find Ooh. the prin Prince of Princes, I guess. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how this works. Anyway, uh, also, find the demon. Kill the king. <laughs> uh, too late. Like they said in John Wick, sometimes you just got to cut a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. Mm, very good. Um. Who shall I pick? Eeny, meeny, miny. Hey, Mo, Sarah, do you want to grab a room? I've been chosen. Yeah, where do you want to go? Uh, let's avoid the circus and let's go to the cavern. Hello. Hi. Okay. You are going to be my one and only hard claim for this entire game. Okay. I'm the sweetheart. Are you there? <laughs> yep. Hey, Gibbo. Hello. Cool. How's it going? Uh, not too bad. Yourself? Uh, yeah, yeah, all right. I didn't forget to take myself off mute this time, so we're improving slowly and surely. Yeah. Cool. W <laughs> what do you fancy sharing? Um, I'll give you a two. Cool. I am either the flower girl or the savant. Cool. I will give you dreamer or sage. Oh. Let's see. Okay. Got it. Sweet. Thank you. Weird. Nice to know what Thorn has planned for me if I pass out. Her uh, pass out, not pass. I'll pass out. Pass away? Yes, that's right. Gibbo. Yep, let's go. Pick a room. Let's, uh, let's go to the herb garden. Right, sorry about that. My paw yeah. got stuck. Right. Um, I like the herb garden. There's a very old TV show where there's a lot. I was of just herbs. thinking the same thing. One of my favourites has a remember. dog in it as well. How yeah. Get us mixed up. Yeah, I, I, anyway. that's all I can remember. I can't remember what it was, but we'll look it up. It was literally called the herbs. Yeah, that's it. Parsley. The line was parsley. That's right. Yes. <laughs> I don't remember that. God, that was. Must have been like Sundays at like ninety, like early nineties, like on Sunday morning on Channel Four. It's older than that, Gibbo. Yeah. He remembers it. Okay. Oh, well, anyway, let's. Uh, enough of that. Let's. Uh, what do you want to do? 
Um, if I was a juggler, what would I juggle you as? You are one of only two people I am telling this. Okay. Sweetheart. Okay. I might also be the sage. Okay. Juggler or sage. Okay. I told you to be quiet. Hey. Okay, Kibo. Bye. Right, Dan, pretty lip. Oh, he's gone. I hope you're out there, Jess. We call him pretty lips just for you. <laughs> Sean. Let's go. Yo. Yeah, just uh, throwing in a savant bluff. Cool. Also, nice shirt. Hell yeah. Welcome. You, you're in the the blue world order. You have a blue token. That, yep. that means you're in, right? We're the taking B over. BWO versus the Wolfpack. This is yeah. the Wolfpack's outnumbered apparently yes. <laughs> quite dramatically. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, so, uh, I, have you come up with your own savant info? If you're doing a savant bluff, uh, you're just gonna I'll, I'll, wing it? I'll just wing it. Cool. Well, yeah, enjoy. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. I'm having a bad internet evening. Uh, okay. Do you want to do you want to try for a chat or? Hello. Hello. How do you, what's your normal protocol when it comes to exchanging information on sex and violet scripts? I'm new here. Uh, I would usually do a uh, two, two or three uh, okay. on the first day at least. Yeah, I'm happy so, to do that if you want to do that. Okay, I uh, will tell you I am either the flower girl or the savant. Okay. If you were the savant, have you gone and talked to the storyteller yet? Uh, yes, I just I just did that about a minute ago. I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna hold on to my information now, uh, just because it I, I want to see uh, what other people give me might give me an insight to whether uh, it's a vortex or not. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, good shout. Um, I uh, I'm just gonna hard claim to you. And, and you'll find out why in a second when I tell you that I am the flower girl. <laughs> I trust that you are the savant. Okay. <laughs> um, so I'm going to try and Vortox check today by getting every single player to vote on something. Okay, fair enough. I'm, I'm sure we'll have a, so, a clock maker or an artist somewhere. So there's something. Yeah. And then we can try and um, get the confirm okay. uh, and then try and use that to solve our info. Right. Sweet. All right. Best of luck. Hey, quick. Hello. Uh, hey. I'm the clockmaker. I was dreamed incorrectly. It's probably a Vortox game. Okay. Uh, uh, savant. Yep. I'm going to nominate myself. Okay, fair enough. Um, I'm the Savant. Sweet. Oh, I love how efficient that was, Gibbo. We did that. Yeah. Drum roll on the double gong. <laughs> Oops, sorry. That was a bit abrupt. Score. Um, so, yeah. uh, a minute for shenanigans. Uh, hands up if you want to uh, shenanigan if I. Uh, and we'll go around and then we'll Get open that the nation. Get up now. I will start at the top of the game. Uh, Gibble's not up, so server. Um... 
I would like to juggle Steve as all four demons and Tybalt as the klutz. Thank you. Heard. Uh, Tybalt. Alphonse. Right. It's Thorn. I, I, I put him in the doghouse. Okay. Um, let me see. I would like to juggle. I can't read his writing. Hold on. <laughs> Sarah as the flower girl. Gibbo as the sweetheart, I think that says. Sean as the Philo. Tom as the sage. And we are the juggler. Heard, thank you. Uh, next one round is Sean. Oh, no, wait, nope. So it's Silk. I missed that hand. It's behind my mic arm. Silk's next. Oh, I, I just put it up. Uh, I'd like to juggle um, Sean through Danfire clockwise inclusive as the juggler. Thank you. Uh, Sean. Sean would like to juggle Sarah as the flower girl, Sour Sarah as the savant, Sarah as the sage, Sarah as the klutz, and Sarah as the evil twin. Thank you. Uh, Keith. Hello. I would like to juggle, um, starting with Dan, one, two, three, four, five, through to Steve, inclusive, clockwise, as the Nodashi. Thank you. Heard. Um, oh, Dan, with the sneaky hand raised just before I got to Gibbo there, jumped in. Yes? I'd like to juggle myself as Ginger, Gibbo as the Vortox, Abiza as basically every minion, even though he's a storyteller. <laughs> Juggler. Um, give out. <laughs> uh, I would like to juggle uh, myself as the juggler, uh, Amy as the clockmaker. Heard, uh, Amy. Your hand went up and is back down. If you, it's not a juggle. It's just conversation. Feel free. I find. I'll allow it. Um, I've heard of some information that might lead us to understanding that this is a vortex game. Um, I would like to die. Thanks. Nominations are open. Amy nominates Amy. Amy nominates Amy. Tell me why, Amy. <laughs> I don't like I'm a bad, bad them. Thank you. Uh, would you like a defense? <laughs> no, don't kill me. I'm actually a townsfolk, but actually, this is fine. It's Vortox bait. Um, I think I'm a much better death than somebody that can actually do something. So. Okay, six to put Amy on the block. Can we get everyone voting on this for flower girl confirmation? This would be a good idea. I wish you'd give me a little bit more notice. I had text box open. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, Dan. My my juggler information is as valid as yours is. <coughs> Eight is more than whatever I said. <coughs> so Amy is on the block. <laughs> Any more nominations? Can we run a dummy vote with three more votes? Uh, yeah, uh, Gibbo nominates Gibbo. Gibbo nominates Gibbo. Tell me why. Uh, yeah, just for the people who didn't vote on that one to put their hands up. So we've got a full, every, so everyone's voted because I have heard of a flower girl. So this could help us out with possible quick, autopsy quick information. Question, question for you voting the vote, pertinent. Yes. Um, forgive me if I'm getting something wrong. If everyone votes, then the demon will obviously have voted. Yeah, but in a Vortox, it, uh, everyone, the flower girl will get false information. So if the flower girl gets a no when everyone's voted, it means it's 100. It, or it's either a Vortox oh, okay. or That's... next to a Nodashi, or the flower girl's next to a Nodashi. It creates okay. certainty. Or the flower girl's yeah. evil. Okay, eight to tie, nine to put Gibbo on the one. So I think it was Dan, uh, Steve, and. Yeah, and Khan. Khan. Yep. Okay. Yes. Keep those paws up. You, you don't say stuff like that because I want to put it up and down. <laughs> Five. Five. It's not enough. It's literally like bait for me. Any more nominations? <clears throat> I think we're all pretty much in agreement, so I'm just going to count down. And Amy is executed and dies. Good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Amy. 
appreciate the uh, <laughs> thank you have you seen the state of the bottom of that screen thorn there's drool on it from earlier well it was very nice pork for you, dan in case you aren't aware because i don't think you were here earlier um thorn was uh enjoying the sight of some coke can um pork groups being made he's left drool oh. all over the bottom of the screen you love a little bit of pork ribs mm. unless you're a vegan or vegetarian apologies to the non-meat eaters in the group apology accepted <clears throat> who, who accepted the apology sarah are you genuinely a non-meat eater yes okay cool. i am the representative in this group uh, and you're I'm not alone. alone. I'm a not meat enjoyer, dirt. but I'll, eat I'll have it. I don't do vegetables. The only time a lion has had anything to do with vegetables is parsley the lion and the herbs. <laughs> Me and Gibbo were talking about it earlier. It was a fun conversation. So, so, so just because I can understand, because I don't want to, I don't want, like when you're the representative for non-meat. You... Hello. Hello. You are the mutant. You are good. Hey. Thank you. So that's that's a bit better anyway. Better than being a sweetheart. So, thank you. Pit <laughs> Moving Hag. in the right direction. <laughs> thank, thank you, Pit Hag. Please don't be a fucking goo game. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and I might just get a bit jealous. I can't eat them. Wow, Dan. Uh, what was that last one? <laughs> hey, if it walks or flies, I'll eat it. I'm not. He so said much long it. pork. That's what the last one was. Oh, long pork, right? Yeah. Will it be good stream content if we just sit in town square tomorrow, just listing off different meats? <laughs> <laughs> yes, me and Dan are the only two who have expressed a preference for occasionally indulging in long pig. All I'm going to say is, uh, My goodness. I, I, I ate his liver, some, liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. Mm. <sighs> but the question is, like Hannibal Lecter, do you only eat rude people? No, no, I... I oh man, okay, this is probably going to upset the non-meat eater. But <laughs> let's say we were on a plane, like a well-known true story, and mm -hmm. crashed in the Andes... Um, I'll be honest, I would start eating the vegans and vegetarians first on the basis that they'd be uncomfortable <laughs> eating their fellow passengers. So, in fact, I'd feel like I was, first of all, eating grass fed humans mm. and also doing them a favour. Think about it, it this really way. It really is a cannibalism hierarchy. Think about it this way you are what you eat, so you'd be eating a vegan diet. Exactly. I mean, if that's not basically get a Thunberg points, I don't know what is. <laughs> um. Dan, Hi, uh, you've put an alarming amount of thought into this. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm like ninety nine percent sure we've talked about this before. <laughs> we have. I was going to say I'm so glad you weren't here last week for it. We I, talked I wanna... about the Andes plane crash. We didn't talk about the Donna party though. <laughs> <laughs> and to be honest, if you ever have a friend called Donna, uh -huh. she's going to be eaten as well because. Who mm. doesn't want to eat Donna kebab? Yeah, bit of Donna meat, lovely. And, and 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 I think the problem is the reason I've put alarming amount of thought into this is because when I'm not doing like clock tower, which I seem to do an incredible amount recently, um, mm. I have a driving job, um, and sometimes I have passengers, and when mm. I don't, I've got loads of time for my brain to just do stuff. Yeah. Sometimes it thinks about normal stuff. Sometimes it thinks about the extra extra stuff. <laughs> Unfortunately, cannibalism has come up as a moral. <laughs> Yeah, is actually is that the first thing you bring up with a with a uh, passenger whenever they get in? No, no, I so cannibalism. Realized. What about it? How's your thoughts? <laughs> I, I've, I've just <laughs> realised, Dan. I've just realised this. This must be why, like me, you have pretty lips. It's all the human blood feeding exactly. it. Mm. But you, you can't bring it up with passengers because most people understand that the chances of there being two psychopaths in a car at once are pretty slim. <laughs> which that, which oh. they automatically know who the psychopath is. If there's no psychopaths in the car, it's you. Exactly. <laughs> so my 
moral view on uh, on cannibalism <laughs> is that if you are in a situation where people have died and there's no food, then it's honestly the only sensible course of action. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. I mean, if they're body, already dead, then, it's, then surely that's fair game, right? Uh, it gets a whole lot murkier when it comes to <laughs> if they're still people alive. who yeah. aren't already dead. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we'll, we'll just put this out there. If something happened, I was already dead and eating me means that other people would survive. Go for it. Mm -hmm. I've got, I've got a statement. I love that you're all talking about like my girlfriend. Mm. You're all talking about cannibalism, and I'm like chomping on a fried pork chop right now. I'm just like, <laughs> what the hell? Oh, oh, I, I, I literally, there is I no literally argument. just ate a Donner kebab. So <laughs> there's an no argument for like fresh human, sort of mm. like you know, dry cured three day dry cured human, and mm. then like you go into the realms of steak humans, like you know, twenty one day aged, Ooh. thirty day aged, thirty five day mm -hmm. aged. 45 Shout day jerky. 45 day aged but off the bone mm. um you know it's 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 a tricky world the, the problem with thoughts? elective cannibalism i should have deafened is what you're telling me <laughs> uh it, it it's it's a great way to end up with some hilarious uh, not hilarious horrendous disease <laughs> that that just that's ever so slightly different. Yeah, my... Um, talking about which, Dan, what's your thoughts on chav jerky? Chav jerky? To be honest, if I am going to eat humans, I'd rather start off with something a little bit more quality. Like chav jerky, know. that's... Like, you know, I'd, I'd probably kill the chav just for fun, but then yeah. just to eat them. I'd throw the bones to my dogs. I'd imagine they'd be really chewy. Yeah, like really well, not the jerky. You could just peel the skin off in thin layers, leave it in the sun. Oh, okay, I'm done with my pork chop. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were done with this. I'm like, yeah, I'm out. Yeah, <laughs> no. See, it also I'm means the chabs are actually. Used I found to myself chabs. biting around the bone, and y'all were talking about eating humans, and I'm just like, I no longer want to nibble on this bone. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if it makes you feel better, I'm probably the only one around here that should be eating humans. Agreed. Agreed. Um, no, it's fine. It's I so... picked the wrong time to start paying attention again. <laughs> they were talking about cannibalism. I happened to be eating a fried pork top while they were doing yep. so. It was a yeah, definitely interesting experience. Yeah, yeah. You know who had an ex <sighs> interesting experience? Sean. It's called Dying at Night. Oh, nice. Oh, we just can't you alive. Nice. <laughs> wow. Um, I don't remember how many minutes you had last time, but you got six this time. Enjoy. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I have to go to a. Tr yeah, I might as well yeah. just keep up the uh, savant. Why not, eh? Okay. What's the worst that can happen? So, um, I'm going to give it one more day. Have you, have, you, have you thought of any info yet? Uh, no. Uh, like I said, I, I, if they want to get rid of me, they can get rid of me now. Yeah, at least I'm not I'm not drunk in someone when I die. So. Yeah. All right. Let's, let's do it. Oh, yeah. Hello. Hey, uh, what do you fancy doing? Two. Hi, right, sure. I'll give you philosopher or savant. And I will give you artist or oracle. Okay. So it can't, no matter what, is evil. If it's not a vortex. That's true. Yep. Yeah, if it's not a Vortex. Yep. Okay. What is up? All right. Yo. Um, 
Do you have any leanings as to whether or not it would be a Vortex game? Uh, and f- not at the moment. I might, if I can figure things out, I might be able to determine it. But I have heard of a Flower Girl, so that would be interesting to uh, see what they're there. Uh... Okay. Well, I will say that I got, I did get bad information yesterday. Are you the dreamer? Uh, let's say that. Yeah, I got bad information yesterday. Actually, I'm the Philo dreamer okay. um, who got bad information. I'm now dead, and now there is a good dreamer out there double checking because if this isn't a Vortex uh, world. Uh, on day one, did you check Amy? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Wait. Yeah. So I already know what their claim is, and it pinpoints exactly where the demon is if it's not a vortex world. Right. Brilliant. So. Hey. All right. Cool. Uh, uh, what are you? <laughs> uh, I'm the savant. Oh, fun. Yeah. Uh, I've got my information, so if I can, I'll wait. Work, work things out. Uh, but yeah. Yeah. I think I think we're looking at vortex. Hmm. But okay. It's... Sounds good. Yeah. Yes. You don't have to waste power. But it's good practice. <laughs> we can still hear you. Hi all. All right. What would you like to share? Um, I'll give you a two for now. Okay. Uh, flower girl or savant. I'm getting a lot of fucking savants. Yeah. Uh, I am either either your snake charmer or your barber. Okay. If you were the savant, do you wish to share information? Uh, not just yet. I'm going to try and uh, work things out, see if we can figure out if it's a Vortox. No problem. Thank okay. you very much. Great, sweet. Hello. So I thought I, I didn't really have anything on you properly. I thought I'd have a chat and see what I could find out. It, uh, yeah, I'll, I'm happy to give it two for now. Just uh, I'll tell you, I am either the flower girl or the savant. Sorry about that. Oh. Disconnected. Got disconnected. No worries. Um, I was just saying, as you left, interesting choices. Yeah. I, I, I'll be honest. I don't believe them. Just because of other claims. Well, I say, let me let me be fair on that. If I believe them, then other people are lying. And if I don't believe them, then the other people are correct, but you're lying. Or one of us is covering for the other. Well, there is that, there is that, but I, I, in, in both cases, I've heard supposed hard claim of Savant, a bluff as a font as a part of a group, and at least a uh, flower girl from one other person as well. So, um, so yeah. So that's fine. I'll, I'll put them down as, I'll put okay. them down as flower girl or Savant, but yeah. um, as it stands at the moment. Uh, uh, so anything you can give me before we head back? Um... So, I am one of the S's, one of the three S's starting from the middle to the top. Okay. That's Seamstress, oh god, uh, sorry, Seamstress, Snake Charmer, or Savant. Okay. But I'm not. Oh, no. You're not supposed to eat the ST, Dan. Hey, if he tastes good, I'll have a bite all day long. <laughs> 
I heard he had a bamboo tear store. Well, I, I so wanted to say when he tastes a little bit woody, but that's just, it starts getting kinky after that, doesn't it? <laughs> I was really hoping you were going to go for it. <laughs> Never mind. Mm. Yeah, well, I really needed to talk to you today. I really oh, should have a little longer as well because I want to speak to Amy as well, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Gracious me. Hello, gracious you. Uh, nominations can just be open, I think, here uh, now. Uh, if there's any juggles or anything, feel or juggles, uh, feel free to put your hands up. Lovely. Okay, yeah, nominations it is then. So, so I, I'd say definitively, I think we're looking at a Vortox game. Yeah, same. So, because um, so I checked last night um, so once per game, choose two players, see if they're the same alignment and I picked uh, Keith and because Amy's dead and I figured she died so quickly she was probably good. I figured two good players. Um, yeah, I didn't, and I and I got, I got no, basically not the same alignment. Um, so I think basically my information is about as much use as a chocolate fire guard. Well, who it, did you check me against? You and Keith. Okay. Tibble uh. says that a chocolate fire guard is actually quite useful if you fancy chocolate. Yeah. But if <laughs> so got... Dan should be fine to die today, right? Like your information's done? Thank Let you. other people get more info? I'm not, well, you. if you're just determined to kill all the good players, yeah, but it wouldn't be my first move. I, I Do think we have should... any demon candidates instead? <clears throat> I will say um, the people next to me, if it, if it is not a Vortex world, I would love to look to my right anti-clockwise uh, to start <laughs> looking for no dashies. Yeah. I still think there's a chance of Nodashi. Mm, this is true. <sighs> Second that call good. for nominations. I think someone should nominate Steve, to be honest. The Nodashi thing uh, also would potentially... Is Steve what Sean was just hinting at? I'm happy to nominate on behalf of the dead, but now I've got two different people as to <laughs> who I think you guys want. No, Nodashi could also... If, the no if it is no dashy, I suppose if Gibbo or Tom were no dashy, that would potentially affect my info. But. Yeah. yeah, but it doesn't explain my info being bunk yeah. because my info yeah. can't be wrong. I, yeah, um, I don't know. Outside of Vortox and no dashy. If it is no dashy, it can't be Gibbo because my information will be correct. Uh, I think pretty much everyone on the left hand side that I've spoken to has dodgy info. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm thinking definitely leaning towards Vortox. Okay, uh, Keith nominates Steve. Keith nominates Steve. Tell me why. Uh, I talked briefly to Steve today. Uh, I'm sorry I'm going to have to just out you here, but Steve claimed to be the snake charmer that selected me, uh, and that was how he was vouching for me. Uh, my kind of gut read was that this was a bluff, but uh, based on uh, what Amy has said or uh, general reads, uh, I guess this is maybe our best execution for today. I I don't know. I'm doing it on behalf of the dead people. Uh, Steve, your defense. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I, I'm the snake charmer who's chosen Keith, and I chose Sarah. <coughs> um, I'm happy to die, but realistically, we want to be looking at some demon candidates if we've got any. Okay. And if there is information out there that say that I am, then by all means, come and tell us. Five votes. Uh, let's put Steve on the block. As pertinent, if we're not looking at Steve, uh, part of me would like to look at Keith specifically. Yeah, but, because oh, Sean, the... that's that's oh, oh my God, I did not mean to. Whatever. Um, I was trying to do a, a chat to the town. Ah. Oops. Um. Sorry about that. Uh. Two votes is not enough. Uh, Tibble, you uh, were off on. You were going to add something then? Sorry. Oh, well, I was just saying as a pertinent, 
if Steve doesn't solve the Grim by the next day, I think we should kill him anyway. Because <laughs> then we know he's evil. <laughs> yeah. uh, Can someone pressure. nominate Keith and pass it to me? Tom nominates Keith. Uh, Tom nominates Keith. Tell me why. Um, um, I'll pass to Amy. Oh, go ahead. Do you, if you want to say something, I can just add pertinent at the end. Uh, you... No, I think in a Vortox world, I think this is a reasonably bad kill, but um, I'll let you go with it. Um, my suspicion on Keith lies in the fact that I was dreamed as either the flower girl or the witch. Um, I find it odd, even in a Vortox world, that I would be seen as someone else's in-play role. Uh it's probably a bluff. It makes me a little suspicious of Keith, but um, I, I find that Steve pointing at Keith as like have been charmed reads kind of evil-ish to me. But um, it's up to town what you want to do. Keith, I think reading into the storyteller's choices as what characters are shown uh, is not really going to help ever. It's just always what's not, not what is. Uh, I'm the flower girl. I claimed to a couple of people. Hard claimed day one, because uh, I got a bunch of twos. Where the other person went first, and they said flower girl and one other thing. Uh, where I was just like, okay, well, I am the flower girl, so I know that you are the other thing. Um, I I pushed really hard to get the unanimous vote on day one, so that I could confirm that it is a vortex. I did get a no last night, so I at least personally know it's a vortex. Mm. Um, that's all I've got, I guess. So far, the only people that have voted is me and Sean today, so I'll learn if I'm the demon. <laughs> but that, that's, yeah, that's all I got. All right. Um, five votes to put Keith on the block. I also find it interesting can, that if we put five on this, there's something knew, I would like to do. Like, what, if what? they knew that there was a flower girl, why would they not kill the flower girl who is going to confirm that it is a Vortox? I think that should be the first kill if I was a Vortox, who I would go for. Two is I, find enough. It, I wasn't super public. I talked to three people. Um, I find it fascinating I'd, that I'd like I died. Nominate, yeah. uh, I'd, I'd like to nominate Amy's corpse. So, <laughs> nominate Amy. Tell me why. Uh, this is literally just uh, town seems convinced that it's a Vortox. We've had a total of, like... <clears throat> four people who voted on stuff, so no one's on the block. I don't want to die to a uh, hard Vortox check. Um, I will be nominating someone after this, though. So. Yeah, that, that's fair, but I, I want to get... Uh, I want the security. Uh -huh. We can try and rest this on five. Amy, any defense? Um, if there's another nomination that's going to happen, we can just as easily put five on Sean after this, uh, since I've already been nominated, but I would rather we actually kill someone that's alive to try to close some worlds. Okay. Uh, five to put Amy's corpse on the block. Hmm. It's just going to be harder to actually get someone living on the block after this because you've already put someone dead on the block. I think it would, I'll say it after this. Five is enough. Amy, they do not like your cops. You are on the block. Any more okay. this oh, is Sean. This is Sean, thing. Sean, go first. Yeah, I just want to toss something in there. Like, if we are going to be trying to kill people here to satisfy a Vortex world, which I don't, I'm not even close to um, convinced that it is, I, it just makes sense. Like, I, I'm the Philo Dreamer. Okay, there's no reason that I was going to die last night. A world that I do see myself dying in is in a Nodashi world where the Nodashi doesn't know what their neighbor is. And so I'm targeted to keep from bad information really going, right? The only information on the left hand side, really, that is kind of dodge right now is mine and Dan's, but that could be, be explained by Keith just being evil. Um, I think it makes sense to start pushing on my neighbors at least until we know what the world is because it's either Nodashi or it's Vortox. Those are the only two worlds it can possibly be from my viewpoint. And if I I'm Nodashi, like I couldn't call. have poisoned Sean or Dan. I don't think you're in the Nodashi. I think it's either Silk or Sobacon. Okay. Yeah. Sarah, not well, I'm not the Nodashi and I'm a townsfolk and so, not a minion. Sarah nominates who, sorry? 
Tom. Uh, Tom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tell me why. Yeah, Keith has mentioned being the flower girl and getting no, despite everyone having voted. Dan has said <coughs> that he could be wrong. And if what Sean is saying and that his he believes his information is wrong because he doesn't know what his, um, like, the node actually doesn't know what their neighbor is, if I'm, at least if I'm correct, because it's your neighboring townsfolk, if a node actually is neighboring an evil person, it would skip over them to their next townsfolk. So it could be that Keith is a minion, Tom is a demon, it skips over Keith and hits Sean. But then no, Amy it doesn't move. Does it not? It doesn't move. Okay. Okay. That's a misunderstanding, then. fair enough. But I still think it is possible with what I've heard. And Sean being either wrong or lying. I don't know. Uh, Tom, your defense. Um, yeah, I'm getting bunk info as well, so it's not the end of the world. Okay. Five to tie, six to put Tom on the block. You know this talking about octopus, you know, Nodashi. Makes me want some takoyaki. Would you like to order some? <laughs> <laughs> Send some my way. Hmm. Two. Oh, it was less than five, did you know? On this day for today. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say final call for nominations, as we're still going to get the votes together. Can we throw uh, up silk or some can't? Right. Okay, I'm just going to say. Right, I'm going to say this. Uh, I I was pit hagged into the mutant last night. Ooh. Oh, that's all. Okay. Uh, with that, uh, no more nominations have been had. So, Amy, I'm specifically telling you that Gibbo is executed and dies. Good night. Cool. So we need to be careful on watching about out if it switches out of Vortox at any point. Yeah, uh -huh. uh, yeah. I, I I thought it was better to just uh, let him play a die because we're on we're on an, we're on an odd number. So if we if we if we skipped, then we'd be on an even number. So we'd have to skip again eventually. So um, I think that was probably good, Gibbo, simply because they were probably planning to uh, Fangu jump to you. Yeah, if they it, yeah same the demon. yeah. Uh -huh. I, bet I knew uh -huh. that because if if people are singing, it might it might the uh, pit hack might turn into a Fangu tonight and then. Yeah. Important question. Yep. Did you lie to me and Tybalt? Uh, if, if I remember as I, what I told you, no, I started as that role. That is definitive. Yes, I started as the role Gibble, I told did you. Did you start as an outsider? Yes. I started as uh, okay. Uh, I thought so. If if it's yeah, if it's a if it's a if we believe it's four talks, I'm still the only outsider at the minute. So yeah, I started as the sweetheart, mm -hmm. but then was pit hagged into the mutant. So, so it, the pit yeah, hag yeah. Sense. So at least so at least my death hasn't drunken anyone now. So thank you, pit hag. That also helps with the information because I was the juggler. So I. Uh... Gibbo told me on day one that the, he was the sweetheart. Um, so in the world where I'm a, a demon trying to fangu jump to him, I would have known that it would be pointless and to you make him another outsider. So yeah. this adds some information which might help with the vortex. Well, so, that explains Gibbo's uneasiness. <laughs> yes, but you'll note that I actually did gamble, sorry, not gamble, juggle Gibbo as the sweetheart, and then I've been telling everyone else that I deliberately lied about that, which means I know that I was the juggler, which is a one. I got a two, and uh, Gibbo would have been the other one if that number's true. So with that said... That would mean, if it was true, that Sean is not the Philo, Sarah is not the Flower Girl, and Tom is not the Sage. I'm not the Flower Girl. When when does it check, though? Is the Juggler info time of you receiving the info, or during the daytime? Because it's like, when is Juggler, when is Pit Hang, right? I'm sorry. No, but I, I think don't... it still was Vortox when you got your information, though, yeah. Tibble. Um, I believe yeah. it's at the time. Because I think Sean level. is. Yeah. So, because uh, you should have gotten a three at least. 
Yeah. Oh, I suspected I should have got a three. Yeah. From oh, what right. you so, said, I think yeah, it was so because Tybalt would have Thorn would get a a correct from me because they I know they juggled me as the sweetheart and it, it's yes. if, it's still valid from the time of the juggle. So, gotcha. so I heard it like you said you got the two you were expecting, and I'm like, uh... no, I got two. I wasn't expecting a two because I knew what me gotcha. and Gibbo were. <clears throat> Uh, sorry if you got squeaky bum time when I kind of said what you were, but I covered it nicely afterwards. It didn't seem to have done any harm because they still turned you into a mutant. Thank you for uh, for doing that, Gibbo. That was. Very good confirmation. No worries. Uh -huh. Honestly, I do think that helps us build a lot more uh, worlds. It does. Knowing well, it's, it's a It's high. a confirmed good player, and we should all go and hard claim to Gibbo. Though I suspect someone is now going to be turned into a sweetheart. Uh, Gibbo, did you hear my hard claim on day one? Uh, no, I think it, I, I told you what I was, and then... It, I think you, that's when you uh, we lost you. Yeah. In that case, Gibbo, can I come and talk to you and show you the world? Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. <laughs> On a magic carpet, I've been zooming. <laughs> as long as it's shining, glimmering brightly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, which one are you trying to use, the princess? Gibble, of course, he's already claimed sweetheart. I don't know, I'd say out the two of them, Aladdin was more of the sweetheart. <sighs> Which would make the other one Prince Ali. Glorious he. Do I get the genie to go with it? Blah, blah. <laughs> Just wait for that. <laughs> What's that, Steve? Do you get the genie? Yeah, I want the genie. Ten thousand years will give you such a crick in the neck. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I was talking to Tybalt and Gibbo about this, but I'm on building, because of that Mean Girls script that we did last week, I'm on building an Aladdin script. Because it was kind of the first movie that came to mind that looked to be hilarious <laughs> for it. Ha, okay. Hmm. <sighs> hmm. Oh my god, I forgot tomorrow's Valentine's Day. Oh, yeah. Is it a single person? <laughs> The closest I got to Valentine's Day plans was uh, my friend ran a um, a one off D and D campaign that was like Valentine's Day themed, where we, we were all fighting for the love of a bachelor, and I won yesterday. And I was like, "This is the closest I'll get to a Valentine's Day date this year." Like, <laughs> hey, it's something. It was fun though. I've never like I've wanted to play D and D for a while. I just haven't really had the time to really yeah. commit to like a full campaign. So playing a little two to three hour mini campaign was a lot of fun. And we went like full cheesy Hallmark movie like with our character um, building. It was so funny. You know what's funny? So died in night. <laughs> Thank you, Dean. <laughs> <laughs> uh, five minutes. Hello, Gibble. Let me show you the world. 
where would you like me to start? Uh, let's go round from you, so uh, Silvercon first. Or at least what you are first. So, ironically, I'm the savant who's just been given an evil twin pair, which was Sarah. So I'm guessing Sarah was originally the witch or the pit hag. Okay. So, so you and you and Sarah, Sarah. are twins and savant. Yeah. Okay. Sobacon, Vortox. Silk, the other minion. Oh, that's interesting considering Silk died. Sean, Philosopher. Amy, Clock Tower. Keith, Flower Girl. Tom, Dreamer. Dan, Fire, Seamstress. And obviously, you've already said you were the seams. Uh, you were the sweetheart yeah. who's then got turned into the mutant. That happy with that? All, yeah. That all makes sense. Yeah, kind of. Uh, the thinking silk some not mutant uh, minion, considering they died like in the night. So I think that was purely for clarity, because obviously silk's already been pushed on a few people. Okay. Um, but obviously that is my information. So far, I have been in. I have kept a record. I am not willing to lose it tonight. Right. But I'll let you speak to other people. Hey. <sighs> Not again. <laughs> Also, Gibbo, I, I I apologize. I know I understand why. Yeah. In fairness, I didn't trust your two claims, but I get I get where you were coming out with that now. So, uh, fair play. So. It's a murder on the dance floor. <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm, I'm just gonna go to Amy. Hello. Hey. Um, so I was a clockmaker with a one, obviously. Um, if it's a Vortox, I'm leaning to, like, I think Dan's evil, uh, just socially. Um, I think it's very suspicious that a flower girl didn't die immediately in a Vortox world where they're going to be able to confirm that it's Vortox on day one. Um, so I'm leaning towards a clockmaker too, possibly, if they're evil together. Hey. Um, or if it's evil together, Dan and Sarah, but Sarah reads socially good to me. Oh, uh, um, uh, yeah, there might be something that, uh, apparently a pit hag made evil twin last night. Oh no. Who are the twins? Uh, Steve, are and, the twins, Steve and Sarah. Oh, honestly, that's not that bad. I, I just think it's Steve. I just yeah. think it's Steve then, because I do socially trust Sarah. I don't think that it's Sarah. Okay, so Steve... she's a savant, and yeah. Uh, yeah, she gave me her savant. full information on day one, and it just read as very much Vortox like good savant. Like it didn't read as okay. evil to me. I don't know. Yeah, so she could be the twin, but I don't think yeah. so. But even if she is, I want to kill Dan today because Dan yeah. is like probably yeah, evil so we with think her. Dan, Keith, Steve. 
uh yeah. probably yeah. or dan sarah yeah. uh keith yeah i think All right. i think let's go for win for everybody yeah but... I, I thought you might i thought you might yeah sure um, sure mm -hmm. it'd be interesting to see what comes out of that what we were saying yeah yeah so um Two, just three. public just for clarity i've now just been given an evil twin pin evil twin ping with sarah so i believe they were one of the minions that's just been turned into the evil twin basically i've got the exact same thing to say just in the opposite direction which is, i first thing i did oh. today is go and tell people I think about Steve's that evil. <laughs> kill steve so yeah can you do that thing what like someone really just talked to, to me all day about killing steve uh, and this is just feels like a desperation play <laughs> at the last minute. Uh, hi, hi, town. Uh, hi. I was the sage. <gasps> Silk, what what do you got? Uh, well, if either of Steve or Sarah is telling the truth, then it's definitely a Vortox game because I got Sarah or Steve as the. <laughs> Oh, oh no! Oh dear! <laughs> but which, oh no! So you're it's definitely more toxic. Which yeah. made me very unhappy uh, when uh, when I spoke to Steve and Steve said, "Oh, Sarah, Sarah's my my evil twin now." And I'm like, "Wow, well, this, uh, question, this is uh, very useful so, information. Thank you." Yeah, uh, just a quick question for town. Uh, so people who have spoken to Sarah and Steve, uh, have they been giving Savant uh, in like previous chats, like previous days? Uh, Sarah has since okay. day one. Okay. <clears throat> mm -hmm. but yeah, I, I've had two different hard claims from Steve, neither of which are Savant. Oh yeah, so Steve is just the evil twin. One hard claim, which was Snake yeah. Charma to hide Savant until we got clarity on on the vortex but obviously all my information's been naff you also gave me an outsider on day one like that was in a two for two which was can we get all the savants to post the info in the chat uh, i was bluffing a savant in order to try to bait a demon kill mm -hmm. do does anyone want my bullshit information <laughs> <laughs> It'll be just the same as uh <clears throat> it's the same as the all open, just FYI. Oh, uh can somebody nominate Dan, please? Uh Keith nominates Dan. Is Keith. everybody here for everybody? Because I see Sobicon and Sobicon. No, yeah, they're here. Uh, maybe, just, here. maybe just refresh. No, here. Okay. They're both here. Uh we we'll hold off until Sean is just refreshed and then we'll get the accusation. Oh, there we go. Any back for you, Sean? I'm waving at you. <laughs> yeah, Sean, are, are we all good? Better, Sean? Oh, yeah. Yeah, awesome. Uh, Keith, your accusation, please. I would like to hand the microphone to Amy. Um, Clockmaker <laughs> with a one in a Vortox game. Uh, it's most likely a two, which I feel like kind of points to. Uh, if you're pointing at Sarah as the evil twin, that would point at Dan. And if Keith is evil, who I think, I, honestly, a flower girl not dying immediately in a Vortox world where you can immediately prove that it's Vortox is very suspicious to me. The fact that you're still We've alive is very We've also got two dream acclaims. Um, yeah. But it, uh, there, there are reasons for that. Um, but I think, um, I think Dan is most likely evil on the board that's currently alive based on it not being a clockmaker one, uh, Dan would be the most likely evil currently on the board. So the information you're using to get to me also works the other way for Sarah and Steve be both being evil. If that's the information going. Obviously if it's Steve, then it's Steve to Sarah, Steve to Silk. Assuming that clockmaker I'd I don't see the <laughs> logistics in your maths there, um, which doesn't include the I fact. I there. Which okay. doesn't. Go ahead. Sorry, that, I mean in for... Which doesn't include the fact that you could just have been evil from the start. I assumed you were. I assumed you were. I assumed you were good, based on your willingness to die. But it doesn't preclude you being evil from the start. And if it's, we're, we're pretty sure it's a vortex. 
did it start a Vortox or did it was it a vigor then to Vortox? So minions still have abilities. I don't know, but I don't know. Your, your reasoning doesn't really well, I haven't got a good thing to go with it. You're just gonna kill a good person. I'm not particularly fussed in that sense. We're just losing good votes. I, I just I, I'm just trying to work out how you've got to that conclusion that it only works against me. Okay. Uh I hope you took all that in. Four votes to put down on the block. <laughs> It doesn't only work against you, but based on different clockmaker numbers, you are most likely to be evil out of people that are currently alive on the board. And us not getting enough votes makes it even more suspicious to me that we didn't get votes on you, especially as a spent role. Can't confirm that's not enough votes. But you don't. It's because you want to kill Steve today. Tom nominates Steve. Tom nominates Steve. Tell me why. Uh, so I'm the starting dreamer. Um, I was Philo drunk on day one, but since then I've been sober. Um, it, if we think it started as a Vortox, um, last night I dreamt Sarah as the mutant or the evil twin. Um, <clears throat> and I don't think we've probably had a demon change based on the fact that we've only had one death each night. I'd say I can guarantee we haven't had a uh, demon change because for, uh, night two I was changed from sweethearts and mutant, and now we've had the twins uh, last night. So there's, there's definitely been no demon change. So it's still a vortex. Uh, Steve, your defense. Uh, so yeah, I was the starting to run. I didn't come out as that to hide the information. Uh, day one, no once per game ability was used, or two people were poisoned. And day two was if uh, was that there was a Vortox, not a Vortox in play, or it was uh, there was no juggler. Okay. Can I, uh, can I add pertinent? Yeah, of course. Um, I did tell Steve that I was the Saban, and that first night info is from me. So that is also what I got. But second night, not the same didn't give a third night when he should have got a third well a third day today i have another chance i've been too busy getting out the information that you're my twin mm. okay, okay. Well, 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 Steve on the block. side note you noted that steve did not say he was the good twin in defense side note Tibble, i will clarify that i give give the full world because give yes. was confirmed good so it's the first person you'd go to which is what i said to dan straight away Six is enough. Any more nominations? Yeah. No, I said during the night I was going to speed on. I've got a twitch in my tail, which is why I voted on Steve. <laughs> Sorry, Steve. Absolutely fine, Thorn. Don't worry. I got a twitch.tv slash evaser open on this monitor. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, if I'm wrong, it probably means a bug called up there while I was outside. Final call for nominations. It can happen. It can. Steve nominates Sarah. Oh, I'll allow it. Steve nominates Sarah. That was 0 0.2 seconds remaining now, Steve. Tell me why. They are my evil twin. If we go through this, we'll lose the game either way. I've given you the savant information that I had. Obviously, I had day three. I went and gave the information to give all of the full grim as requested by Tybalt, as well as Sporting the Silk, given those, the information of the twin as well. Sarah, your defense. Um, I think Steve is relying on this notion that he can solve the game frame quite quickly, which I'm not doubting, basically to feed a bunch of lies to Gibbo specifically as the probably most confirmed good person here. Okay, uh, six to tie, seven to put seven on the block instead. <laughs> Tom denies Steve the high five and <laughs> final call. Yeah. Steve is executed and dies. And... So does the Bezos. 
<laughs> and wipes out Amy's connection, followed quickly by mine. Uh, good night, everybody. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, I I thought that was the uh, the right oh, kill. No, I claimed uh, Savant to Steve on day one, and he didn't call me on it. Okay. So it doesn't mean you're wrong. It means that an evil twin may still be in play. How do you figure that? Let's see if anyone dies tonight. Though I suspect they might sing. We'll see. Wait, I figured the pit had created the evil twin out of an existing minion, which is mm. why Steve didn't have any savant. Yeah. Um, certainty. Steve, yep. give the savant information in chat in the text chat as requested by you. That's fair. Some on the dance floor. Imagine having a song of yours just suddenly become ridiculously popular because some guy humped a brave, like, oh my God. Just trying to think how old is that song now? Murder on the it's like 15, maybe 20 years old. It's, it's got to be early, it's early 2000s. I'm gonna, I know it's early 2000s, but I've got to have a look. It's I don't know. What, Murder on the dance floor. Uh, 2004. What I do know is Sophie Ellis Bexter has awesome cheekbones. <laughs> oh, she's amazing. That's she's beautiful. Nice. She is. She is gorgeous. So, Just did you know? Here. Yeah, that Sophie cool. Alice Baxter got her mother fired from Blue Peter. She's still hot. What? Janet Ellis, her mother, used to work for the children's program um, okay. Blue Peter, um, and she was forced out because she got pregnant and wasn't married. Fuck's sake. I, mean, I, I, I think so blaming stupid. her is a bit... Uh... Well, it was Sophie inside, wasn't it? <laughs> Uh, I blame the network, not Sophie. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. it was it was the network. I was just pointing out that. You know, <laughs> I know it's funny though. Yeah. No, so, it's yeah. so Murder on the Dance Floor was released third of December two thousand and one. Oh, yeah, over like, twenty years ago. Yeah. I am only just older than it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, okay, wow. now I feel really, really old. Tell me about yep. it. Yeah. So I would yeah. have been. I was, I was thirteen. Yep, I was. I was, I was. I was born August two thousand and one. Oh, that's the wrong uh, side. Yeah. I I, I was born in the eighties. Oh dear. Yep. Oh. Early nine, early nineties. Mm. And not even the late eighties. <laughs> I am old. Well, you know who's not old? Tibbot and Thorn, because they're dead. How very dare you. Well, that's <laughs> two deaths. Two deaths tonight. Uh, Wait, who died? Just, oh, two not two deaths. deaths. Oh my god, you, you had me so confused. <laughs> I was like, who else died? <laughs> I literally just like looked all around the grim. I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> so, so what, I, oh, okay. What I would say is the pit hag did strike again last night. Okay. Um, because I'm now a snake charmer. Oh, lovely. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> mm. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Uh yeah, yeah I would noticed you the uh gone to see the storyteller every day so because yeah. when i was uh i was faking savant so i was paying attention mm -hmm. to who was um going to see who else was going to see the storytelling in case there was an actual savant 
Yeah. Again, it's also yeah. another reason why I never gave out my savant in, my savant information mm. because mm -hmm. I didn't want to. Yeah, I I just heard from someone else that there was also a claim of savant, and they uh, said they thought someone was covering, which yeah. would yeah. make sense. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of pivoted more towards that. I was either flower girl or savant, but I was more mm -hmm. covering for yeah. someone. But yeah, anyway, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think that myself and Amy were kind of tunneling on that. Possibly Dan and Key for uh, our remaining two evils. Mm. Okay. I don't hate that okay, idea. I just want to check something. Mm -hmm. Okay, so a pit hag would go before. Snake Charmer goes before the pit hag, so. Is this. Oh, if, is Dan. Is the, was the Dan the pit hag who's just turned themselves into the Snake Charmer? I... To be honest, my thought was that um, Steve was the pit hag who, once everyone basically <laughs> sussed as a pit hag, changed himself to the evil twin. Possibly. That was my initial thought. Yeah. Uh, then again, it could be uh, Dan's now just claiming that. Yeah. Because. The... To the fake no, the pit hag still being Blair. Yeah, okay, yeah. let's head back. I didn't do that. <clears throat> Outrageous. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't me. I'm innocent. Definitely mm. you. Who's nominating the visa then? Was it a yes or a no? Is that question directed at me? No, it's directed at me. No, was it? No. I mean, that one was me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, just showing off. There's a Steve and a Thorn being mm. uh, and a Three, three players not coming back. Outrageous. Yeah. Dong them again. <laughs> Gonna go and drag them out by the ears in a minute. <laughs> Get out of here, you! Get out here, kids! Quadruple ganged? Outrageous. I mean, okay. I'm, I'm, the, the double I'm was sorry. Accident. My, I couldn't get my paw on the button properly. Yeah, okay. That's fair. I believe that if you're in there on your own. <laughs> it's up the top. I can't do it properly. So, uh, yeah. I'm just going to open nominations, but feel free to have a chat before you uh, leap into anything. Okay, good talk. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have any idea what the second minion is yet? Uh, my running yeah. theory is Pit Hag, what obviously, time? from Gibbo changing character, uh, and yeah. a witch that never activated and was turned into an evil twin. I, I think Because uh, we didn't have a starting evil twin, and we've had no evidence of Serenovus. Unless if somebody's been Serenoxed the entire game. The, 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 there's definitely still a Pit Hag, because I'm now a Snake Charmer. That's brave. Ballsy. I it thought sure one of us ended up as a sweetheart, but... So we can't even share anything. Well, the only thing I'm going to come out as the town's artiste. Mm -hmm. And earlier today, I asked Ibiza if Keith was one of the demons, and Ibiza said no. That's a very specific frame. <laughs> yes, it was going between you and Dan, uh, and no. it's kind of hack. Yeah. So Obakan claimed the artist in her two since day two, yeah. or since day one, rather. Yeah, but artist could have been a demon bluff. For for what it's worth, um, I dreamt Keith last night and got Pit Hag as the evil character. So if they are evil, then they're just the demon. It's... Well, that's the thing. Pit Hag is a minion, not a demon. Also, yeah, but war tops. Yeah. So in a world. Sorry, go on. In a world where I have a clockmaker one, Sobakan can't be the demon to Steve because they're sitting next to each other in a Vortox, and I have a one. Do we know so, if it definitely yeah. started as all Vortox? Do we yeah. have some there, there's a version of a demon change? It absolutely did. Yeah, okay. That's good. If we trust Sean and Amy both, which there's no reason not to, then it definitely started Vortox. Yeah, I agree. I'd, I'd just and like it's, it's Vortox unless Sarah is the demon, uh, which I don't believe. I would just like to bring up, if we're pretty sure it's a Vortox, then my Savant info would either have to be both true or both false. They'd right? have to both be false. It'll be both. It has to be, in a yeah. Vortox, it has to be false information, so it okay. would be too false. Okay. Yeah, okay, because the second one that I got on day three was that every player chose an opposite alignment, so someone would have had to choose someone of their own alignment of that night. 
Mm. Anyway, can you? So, yeah. Is that the whole piece of information? Oh, so Everybody that would be the pit minion? hag. Yeah, oh, the pit hag yeah. changing the other minion into the evil twin. Mm. But we have people yeah. that don't choose. That I, I'm not. <coughs> yeah. Is that verbatim what was said? Yeah, it's specifically a choosing. No, no, everybody chose. Is the part I'm not understanding. Everybody so you have people that don't is choose. It, is it everybody yeah, who okay. could choose? Is it yeah, everybody, everybody who could choose chose. Okay, thank you. Yeah, right. So obviously the demon didn't kill an evil player. Mm. Um, so the other information that day being that three players became a new character. Christ. Hmm. So began. Mm-hmm. What day did you Kitty. use your question on? It's a dog. Today. It's a dog. Today. Yes. Who called me a dog? No, no. <laughs> Sean. Sean. No. Sean has it's a dog. Sean. Sean has a dog. Not you, Thorn. Not you, Thorn. Okay. You are an amazing beast. Oh, we okay. killed. We killed so... Murdo earlier for that. Don't worry. Uh, <laughs> we've all learned our lesson. Actually, you didn't. I mean, <laughs> so you, can. You can killed be me for Murdo's transgressions. <laughs> Sobercan can be a minion, but they can't be a demon in a Vortox world. Mm. That's true, yeah. I still think it clears the most worlds to nominate Keith here. I, I agree. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, I don't have a leg to stand on. My Flower Girl information is useless because every single person voted every day, with the exception of Tybalt and Steve on the second day, both of which are dead now. So, the one time when everyone was convinced that we had to kill Steve, we really did not need every single person to vote. Sarah nominates Keith. Sarah nominates Keith. Tell me why. This seems to be the general direction of the town, and if this is wrong, we need to know now. So then we can start painting the world. Hear Sarah. I can hear Sarah fine. Yeah, yeah I can hear Sarah. Cool. Oh, oh Dan's really reconnecting. Good. Uh, so, can you just talk to see if Dan can hear you now? Yeah. Can you hear me now, Dan? Yeah, <laughs> we're in a chat for ages, and I was thinking, yeah. is Ibiza not going to drag you back? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Is he taking a piss or something? Okay, uh, three votes to put Keith on the block. Hey, on, do I not oh, get to yeah, defend no. myself? Go on, then. <laughs> no, not? apparently not. <laughs> um, because Sobakan, who could possibly be a minion, coming out and saying, uh, my artist question, a thing that we can ask literally anything, I asked very specifically, is Keith the demon? Uh, it just feels exactly like a frame. It's not at all like panning the town for the correct answer. It's just entirely specifically trying to get me killed, which makes me think that is an evil play, not a good player playing. Um, it, I have to be on the same evil team as Dan, because Dan confirms me as a good player in a Vortox world. Um... I can't really pass through all of these one information because it hasn't been posted in chat. Um, I yeah. I don't know. I honestly believe with the play, Sobekan has to be at least a minion here. Again, Thorn. Okay. Uh, <laughs> three is enough to put Keith on the block. Sobekan is... Okay, perfect. Just because I don't want to risk a tie in a yeah. Vortex game. Uh, if yeah. evil ties it. Yeah, yeah I, th I think we've got... Um, and I'd rather give got... as a confirmed yeah. good, keep yeah. his vote for yeah. the final day if this yeah. is not the it, world. It was, uh, I, think, I think we've got three good players alive I think we, that we needed four, so we needed at least one dead vote. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, Keith is on the block with four. Any more nominations? Uh, Keith nominates Sarah. Keith <laughs> nominates Sarah. Tell me why. Uh, this is my best demon candidate right now. The worldview that I have is possibly Sobekan starting Pit Hag, Steve starting Witch, uh, Steve being turned into the evil twin by the Pit Hag, um, or if not, it is the Witch that is literally missed every single time, and they played together, Sarah being the demon uh, who seems good by a town but is confirmed by nobody, uh, and Steve the minion pulling all of the aggro to make Sarah look like a good player in that situation. I, I honestly don't trust this frame. I think before this, the only sus was Amy believing that a flower girl would not survive this long, which I think makes no sense because my information is useless. 
We've had two dreamers. We've had an artist that didn't act until the third day. Um, that is a way better target. A juggler that didn't die after juggling. Uh, I don't think any of the demon skills could be read into in that way. Uh, and yet a savant who has also survived the entire game in the same way and is getting way more useful information than me. I think this is a way better kill than me right now because I think this is our evil team. Okay, uh, Sarah, your defense. Yeah, um, if Steve was turned into the evil minion, another good player would have got that ping. So it would have been very difficult for us to play off I that. said specifically in the world where you were both lying about that um, rather than him sorry. being pit hanged. I misunderstood that was kind of a bit. But um, yeah, I think the reason why I've been kept alive is essentially because it is a Botox game and it's a, I'm not getting any decent information. It's all lies. So I think genuinely it's just a killing more based on social reads rather than actually information at this point. And I think generally the town is directed towards Keith. If the pressure was on me, I'd say kill me because then you know it isn't me you move on and you try and find the real demon. Pertinent. That's all I'm suggesting here. Pertinent information. Keith, uh, if your information is confirming that it's a Vortox, my information is confirming that Sarah can't be the demon. True. Okay, uh, four to tie, five to put Sarah on the block. Uh, zero votes is not enough to put Sarah on the block, shockingly. Uh, any more nominations? I'm going to give it five. I still stand by it, so the corner's four talks. You would. What? That, that doesn't work with the clockmaker number, though. Um, no, I have a clockmaker one. If you're the evil twin in that scenario, then I would not have a one. Well, the, true, the true answer could be two, and then you get a one instead of getting a two. Right. Keith is executed and dies, and the game is over. Phew. Okay. Ooh. So, there. Spoilers. <laughs> the game ended because you killed the demon. Who knew? Uh, so, yeah, Keith was the Vartox. Um, oh, I'm trying to think where to even start here. Uh, Wait, they asked you if Keith was the demon. You said no. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, you did. I lied, Soz. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, Tybalt was the juggler who juggled three rolls correctly, so I gave him a two because I wanted it to still be... I wanted there to just be some doubt on someone from the juggle that, that was claiming he juggled them correctly. Like, I didn't want it to be too obviously incorrect info. Obviously, like by the time everyone had added up all their information, it was... It was pretty clear anyway. Uh, la, 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 la. Oh, you might have known what Gibbo was. Uh, Gibbo started as the sweetheart, but got pit hugged into the mutant um, and then executed for breaking that madness. Most confirmed player. Let's go. Yes. Da, 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 da. I very <laughs> rarely execute for deliberate like confirmation <laughs> madness breaks, but yeah, I decided to do that. Um, yeah, I, I did have a plan that I wanted to, when, when we were suspicious of Keith, to put five on, to put it on the block, and then I was going to go out to see if you would just kill me. To... Right, fair enough. Okay. Um, so yeah, we had Silk, the sage who died in the night, and learned that the demon was either Sarah, the savant, Oh, Steve, the evil twin who began the game as the witch uh, and witch cursed himself and then witch cursed Sean on the night when Keith killed Sean. So uh, that was never going to go off and then got hit hugged. Um, Sean was the greedy dreamer uh, who drunk Tom, which made such a big difference to your information, Tom. Um, and it was so good every other night. <laughs> once Sean died, you got nothing but good info. Uh, <laughs> Amy was our clockmaker. Uh, who uh, received a one, and as I'm sure you can see by this point, that cannot have been true because Dan was, of course, anyone want to fill in the blank what Dan was? Hag. Town hag. That's right, Snake Charmer. Uh, he was a pit <laughs> hag, he made himself the Snake Charmer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I, who was who it I said that to? I think it was Tara. <laughs> so, yeah, I, uh, I said, yeah. said pit hagged himself into the evil Snake yeah. Charmer. 
Yes. Yeah. There was a uh, there was a lot going on there. I. Yeah, that was interesting to say the least. To like, I'll tell you what I have discovered is very difficult to story tell. Bartok's dreamer. <laughs> Poison Dream yeah. is easy. You can pick and choose what is true and what is false out of what you give them. When it has to be false, it's like, oh, they're just like they're just immediately going to know, like you know, because they're just going to ask yeah. the person. They're not going to claim that good role, and that's it. Uh, they, I think I know, think the term is uh, just S and V things. Yeah, that yeah, that was that was just a really hard game to be honest for evil. Like there was a lot of info and. So the thing is, there was so many big important roles that I expected to be more cagey. And then when you have, uh, I'm not going to single anyone out as uh, anything here, but Sean, when you were just running around on day one going, Philo Dreamer, Philo Dreamer, Philo Dreamer. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, do you know what? The thing is, it's a risky play and it, it gets you killed. But it also <laughs> essentially confirmed it was a Vartox game on day one, which was yeah. so evil. Like that, it was worth risking dying. Um. So yeah, for, like yeah. a lot of the power. Well, let's all solve conversation one between me and Sean. Conversation yeah. one. I oh, was like, "Yep, was just... I'm gonna die. This is fine. oh that Woo. that uh, that Vortox dreamer information was oh. very helpful. It's... For me, it didn't really matter. Like it didn't matter to me because I think conversation two was with Tom, and. At that point, I was like, I was stuck between the Nodashi and Vortex world, and I wanted to die anyways. I was whispering to Amy the whole time. I'm like, I already found my dreamer. Yeah, I want to die. Like, yep. I want to die see if Tom yeah. gets and then you die. <laughs> yeah, and then I die, yeah. which was yeah. beautiful. <laughs> um, yeah, I uh, honestly, I think the most clutch was Tom dreaming Sarah as the evil twin in what yeah. we know couldn't have possibly yeah. been a yep. change yep. world. Where when, when I time. yep. When I gave That's that, I realized that that was a, a mistake. Um, like, really shouldn't have given that, so I apologized yeah. to the evil team. As soon as I did it, I was like, no, because that they, they know it's Vartox, so yeah, they that literally cannot be true. Uh, and I yeah. just, yeah, so that was a... I that think was, socially, was a Sarah was going to be pegged as the good twin anyway, because Sarah had been claiming yeah. Savant since day one and had been sharing information yeah. freely. It's a, another thing that. I said is that I, when I was, because I was the... Uh, uh, bluffing Savant early when I was a sweetheart and when I went to the mutant and I was keeping an eye on who else was having private SD consults because I thought okay if if there's an actual Savant out there I don't want to be by the, in that situation where yeah, by the way Sarah I'm very offended you didn't come to see me on the final day I had some direct, <laughs> I, I, I was I was I, I was gonna just start having some fun with the yeah. Savant yeah. info at that point uh I was gonna tell anyway. you the good twin was executed yesterday <laughs> It's a little funny, Gibbo, because I'm oh, sorry. I was going to say, ahead. normally sorry. when I was conversations, you'd just go into the conversation I was having, mm. and I'd just tell to someone, he's here for me to get my information, please can you leave? <laughs> so, I uh, I, and... I knew that, that Steve uh, wasn't the savant there, because on day one, um, pretty much to pretty much everyone I'd claimed Savant and Snake Charmer mm -hmm. and Steve had said well you must be the Savant then yeah I, I think that's the difficulty isn't it with creating an evil twin part way through the game is that suddenly someone's got to pivot into a role that, was, that someone else has been claiming since day one that was a very hard decision in terms of who I was going to give the good twin uh, who I was going to make the good twin at that point when when Steve was made the evil twin. That, like, I was sat there for a good while thinking, I don't know who I do this with. Like, you know, like I, I really don't. Like, who do I, I make? I think with? Sobacon would have been a good choice there. Yeah, because people were unsure if they trusted her. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 had it, like been, I hadn't, <laughs> I hadn't really heard any of that, so I couldn't make the decision based on that. I don't think I'd heard anyone say they weren't sure if they trusted Sobacon before that decision, and I heard it afterwards. But not like before, and so yeah. You were going to snake charm your demon. I'm uh, still that night. <laughs> yeah, that's the plan. We set that up on the first day. Parachute. I literally, to be honest, uh, when we first spoke, we didn't swap bluffs. We just said, How can we make Abiza's life more difficult? <laughs> <laughs> literally, how can we screw with a storyteller? Um, <laughs> you, did, you did a great job in that case, Dan. Leave <laughs> the dreamer alive and uh, do snake charming stuff instead. Yeah. 
Well, tomorrow I've got a, I've got another game of Clock Tower, but with Ben Burns storytelling. Nice. Nice. Enjoy. Ooh, fun. Yeah, nice. we've, got, we've got Ben on the 4th, on the 4th of March. Yeah. I was going to ask you that because I had a feeling for your birth. I hope for game two because I'm not going to be there for uh, game one. Uh, gonna it's that. going to be game one because we're going to be doing the uh, Red Dwarf. Is Red no! Dwarf home okay, room. I will travel. <laughs> I will travel uh, if possible for game one so I can meet Ben. Daddy no ben worries. Hello. Uh, Keith, you whispered that to me. I don't know if you wanted to declare it, but Keith's getting off now. Yeah, uh, I'm, thank I'm you for as well. So uh, yeah. happy, yeah. An- happy yeah. anniversary, yeah. Abaza. Thank happy you. anniversary. Oh. I have to go cook. Happy anniversary. Uh, say, hey. Hey. Say good night. Oh. Yeah, that is going to do it for tonight's uh, game. Uh, this was part of Abaza's uh, two year clock tower anniversary. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, you can watch uh, myself and Abaza live on Twitch every Monday from 7 p.m. UK time on uh, twitch.tv forward slash gibbo42 and on twitch.tv forward slash Ibeza. Uh, so, yep, that is going to do it for tonight. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. See you later, guys.